Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I wanted to talk about women flaking. And, you know, I, I was reading this article. Um, this It's like a, a Tinder uh, website article. The Tinder has this, they do some articles called Swipe Life. So, it's like a blog or something where they do articles about dating and all this other stuff, right? So, they had this article called Six Things We All Do. And no one talks about while dating, right? And now I'm looking at this article, and it was written by uh, some chick named Stephanie. Um, well, let me see who her name is. It's Stephanie Di Agostini or something like that, right? So as I'm reading it, I'm like, okay, this is this is stuff women do, right? <laughs> but what what caught my eye was the fifth uh, thing she said. Because I'm not going to go through the other ones. I just want to talk about the fifth thing. And the fifth thing was canceling for self-care and so basically i'm going to read what this says and, and this is going to give you some insight on you know why women will flake on you and you know uh their mentality about this whole thing right so the first thing she says is everyone cancels dates okay let me stop right there. i'm going to be stopping in between this she says everyone cancels dates i've never in my life canceled a date ever now i remember there was this one time where this girl was like, you know, uh, being a little wishy-washy. So I told her, um, you know, you seem like you you you, you kind of busy. So let's try for another time next week or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? But other than that, like I've never canceled a date, right? But anyway, let, let's let's uh let's let's go through this, right? So she says, everyone cancels dates, and a lot of times it's because we get cold feet or would rather hang out with our friends. Now I want I want you guys to to, to notice this. She said, we get cold feet or we would rather hang out with their friends. So basically she's saying they'll get scared to, you know, go on a date or they would rather hang out with their friends. Now, the reason why this is because what happens is this. A woman, when she's going on, you know, a date with you, she doesn't know if it's going to be good or not. So there's a chance that she may not have a good time. There's a chance where she may feel sort of like awkward or it just may, you know, she just may not be comfortable in a situation. So the reason why she says, you know, we'd rather, I'd rather hang out with my friends because she knows that hanging out with her friends, she knows she's going to have a good time hanging out with her friends, but she doesn't know that she's going to have a good time, you know, being with you. You understand? And I just want you guys to understand this is, this is how women think, all right? All right. So it says sometimes, however... Something more serious is at play. Liz, 27, who suffers from both anxiety and depression, has canceled a few dates because she was feeling low and the thought of going to a bar made her feel sick to her stomach. In these cases, she claimed she had the flu or a family emergency or just ghosted altogether. Right? So, basically, she's lying to you <laughs> as to why she's not going to see you on the date. Right? Uh, she says, when I ask her why, she explains that she didn't feel comfortable being that vulnerable with a stranger. I don't owe it to anyone to justify my behavior when it comes to the results of my own mental illness. She says, maybe when I'm in a serious relationship, I can have a more open and honest conversation with my partner about it. Now, see, this is interesting because she said, I don't feel comfortable being that vulnerable with a stranger and then she says i don't owe it to anyone to justify my behavior when it when it's uh the result of my own mental illness so it's interesting how she feels look i don't have to justify why i'm flaking on you and ghosting you you understand it, you know just accept <laughs> what i'm telling you and you know and just let it be and also what's interesting here is because she says you know um i don't want to be vulnerable with the stranger right and you know, I've talked about this before where I say that, you know, women, when they first meet you, I've, I've said this, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of times, when they first meet you or when you first interact with a woman, this is the time where it's the easiest for them to flake on you, for them to not want to fuck with you because they're not emotionally, um, you know, attached to you yet. You understand what I'm saying? So it's easy for them to just be like, you know what? I'm good. I don't, I don't feel like fucking with this dude, right? Because also she says here, she says, maybe when I'm in a serious relationship, 
I can have a more open and honest conversation with my partner about it. Because if she's in that serious relationship, she's more she's emotionally attached to that person. You see what I'm saying? So what happens is when you're first dealing with women, the reason why you get a lot of flakes, the reason why you know shit will fall off really quickly is because the girl is not emotionally attached to you yet to you yet. And therefore, she doesn't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? So it's easy for her to just sort of like toss you to the side. You understand? This is why I tell you guys why you have to play the numbers game. Because when you first meet women, there's going to be a lot of women who are going to fall off quickly. You understand? There's going to be a lot of women who's going to flake. And it's because, you know, stuff like this. Now, it goes on to say, given that dating with depression or another mood disorder is relatively common... People may be more understanding than we give them credit for. Uh, many are even waging their own battles. You should never feel guilty for needing to practice self-care. Nor should you date someone who you, suspect, who you suspect would unfairly make you feel bad about it. That said, it's up to you to give your date whatever excuse you feel comfortable with in whatever way works best for you. I'm going to say it again. That said... It's up to you to give your date whatever excuse you feel comfortable with in whatever way works best for you. In some cases, it may be useful to take a break from dating entirely and focus on getting yourself back into a place where it is an enjoyable, even exciting uh, prospect. Dating will always be there. Never feel ashamed of putting yourself first. All right. So now it's interesting, you know, because he's saying, you know, uh, Never, you know, don't, don't, you know, give the date whatever excuse that you feel comfortable with. You understand? Put yourself first. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, when you guys get these chicks flaking on you, off of Tinder and all this other stuff, and it's supposed to be the first date, why are you trying to holler back at them and give them another chance? For what? You understand? Because she's going through whatever she's going through. And she's like, well, fuck you. I'm, I'm just not coming because I, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> and I'm just going to give you any other, you know, any old excuse or I'm going to just ghost on you. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, you guys got to understand that women, they'll be having these internal, you know, battles going on that cause them to, you know, act this way. So a lot of times guys take it personally where... You know, a chick will flake and be like, oh, it's fucked up. And why she flaked? And oh, it's because I'm ugly and I don't got the looks, money, and status or whatever. But what I'm showing you here is, you know, that women will be on that shit. And, and what's, what's interesting is she sa it says, given that dating de with depression um, or another mood disorder is relatively common. So there's a lot of women out there who, you know, have that type of, you know, disorder, you know, feeling anxious, you know, depressed. All this other stuff, which causes them to act, the, you know, the way they're acting. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, guys, do not get all bent out of shape when chicks be flaking and all that. Just charge them to the game. You feel what I'm saying? And you keep that shit pushing, all right? So, that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below, and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com